<laughs> what are you doing? Have you ever heard a whole audience crack their knuckles? At the same time? Yeah. Here, I'll show you. I have the hiccups. Yes. <laughs> it's so loud. I have the hiccups here, wait. What does it even do? Drink water upside down. Cut. I don't know what it does. How does that do anything? Isn't that just like normally drinking water? <laughs> what are you doing? There's not a cloud in the sky. There are many clouds within the atmospheric pressure of the <laughs> He spit right in the camera lens. Open, 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 open. We are faster. That is huge. I'm directing this when Jordan we're gonna see who wins. You're directing what? This video. <laughs> what do you this vlog? Oh, Alright. So, there is homemade ice cream and pie. The hiccups! That'll be good for the vlog. Yeah. Hiccups. My okay. sister won't stop hiccuping. <laughs> it says. It just says. How so oh, red I am. so confused. Hiccups. Why do y'all have to smack each other it's all the time? It's just what guys do. Don't try to okay. understand it. Ow, that was my eye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go. Man. We almost had an we accident. We died, thanks to Dad. <laughs> that's the thumbnail. No. Stop, that's my face. I'm not hitting you in the face. Yeah, I'm not, that's irritating. The heck? I like it though. Wait, hold on, what? <laughs> no I, s I recorded them way. snoring yesterday. Yes, you're loud. That's Dad, the high one. That's you. That's you. Do you hear that? No. Yes. It is not me. Yes. You're like the low grumbling you're one. No. No. You are the low grumbling one the whole time, and then he's the inconsistent, higher pitched one. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to tell you guys the two greatest jokes I've ever heard in my life. So, it's two jokes, by the way. The first one is there were three boys. They went outside, and they wanted to play a game. But they just realized it just rained, so there wasn't too much to do outside. So they went outside and were like, well, crap, it's all muddy and everything. Well, they found these bricks, and so each boy, they thought of a fun game they could play, and it was going to be, they were going to take the bricks, and they were going to throw them up in the air, and they were going to land in the mud. The farthest brick that would go into the mud, that would be the person that won the game. So the first boy goes up, he's pretty small. He winds up and he throws it up in the air, lands in, and it probably goes like six inches in. Not too far, but you can see the brick pretty well. Second kid comes up a little bit bigger, throws the brick up, goes pretty high, lands all the way in, and it's about like a foot and a half in. So it's really deep. Third kid comes up and he's actually the smallest out of all of them. He winds up, he winds up, he winds up, and he throws it in the air. And that's the first joke. That's not a joke. <laughs> well, it's like he beat the system. It was like, it, it doesn't, like, it just doesn't come down. Yeah. He just, he just won. Because okay. he beat the system. Wait, how did he win? Here is my theory. If you have to explain a joke, it's not funny. <laughs> it's, a, it's a joke. <laughs> it's it's not at all. Joke. It's ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> Alright, the second That's joke. Okay. Alright, the second That's joke. The dumbest joke I've ever heard. Alright. The second <laughs> The second joke is there's a girl, she has a parrot, and she's trying to plan a flight to go see her mom across the country because her mom just absolutely loves parrots. She wanted to go and she wanted to show her mom her new parrot. Well, she doesn't have a lot of money. She was looking around, she was looking around, and she finally found this one flight that was really, really cheap that could take her there. But the problem was, there was no smoking, and there was no parrots allowed on the flight. She's like, okay, well what I can do is I can just hide it. 
I can just hide the parrot and get on and nobody will ever know. She gets on the plane. It goes very well. She gets through security. She gets taken off. She's fine. She she gets through and she's just hiding it in her in her coat. That's all she's doing. She she feeds it beforehand so it doesn't talk or anything, doesn't make any noise or whatnot. She they take off and they're doing great. They're halfway through the flight. They're doing amazing. The parrot's not making a single sound, nothing. They get at cruising altitude. And so one of the pilots of the plane says, I'm just gonna go talk to some people. So he goes out and he's just talking to everybody, just seeing how they are, just making sure they're good. And he gets about halfway through and he decides he takes out a cigar and he starts smoking the cigar. So he gets to the woman with the parrot and she says, hi, how are you? And he's like, we're good. We're just on cruising right now. We'll probably be landing here very shortly. She's like, okay, cool. And he starts walking by her while in her coat, there's a little like, rumbling and it's like pulling on a cracker. He kind of steps back and he goes, well, what was that? And she's like, I don't know what you're talking about. And then it does it again and you're pulling on a cracker. She's just like, I don't know what you're talking about. And he says, ma'am, do you have a parrot? And she goes, no. And then he opens up her jacket really quickly and finds a parrot. And she's like, and he goes, you cannot have a parrot on the plane. And she stands up really mad and takes the cigar out of his mouth and says, you cannot smoke on the plane. So he gets really mad and she's really mad. And he opens up one of the windows and throws the parrot out. And then she opens up the same window and throws the cigar out. They're both really mad and she sits down and now she doesn't have her parrot. And he sits down and goes in the front and goes to his cockpit and he sits down and he's really mad. And then he hears a knock right above him and it's the parrot and what does the parrot have in his mouth the cigar no the brick make my videos 10 minutes somehow. What do you call a crate of ducks? Hmm. A oh. box of quackers. <laughs> and that is the 12th day of 365 days of vlog.